Welcome back to part 12 of the War Tales Expert Expert Iron Man playthrough. Uh, we just got finished actually uh, clearing out the ruins. <clears throat> now we have to go pay our visit to the little guards here. And then uh, get a little five finger discount on some books at the training grounds. And then we'll see what we do from there. I also need to go to town desperately, man. Hello, guards. Level six. Weren't they level seven before? Did they get weaker because I'm not wanted anymore? I feel like, I feel like they might have gotten weaker because I'm not wanted. For now. Wait, we're going to be very wanted soon. Um. All right, well, I guess we just start over here. Armagol. Uh, I guess this is kind of fine, right? So this... Oh, they all have, like, giga movement. Oh, these guys are still slow as fuck. So the archer's gonna be able to shoot us. Everyone else on their team is, like, super fucking slow. Um, alright, what do they have? Force disengagement? Yeah, that's kind of shitty. That's kind of really shitty. I can kind of bait them with Cult. I can bait this lieutenant to attack Cult if he's got his swing up. Because he can't be engaged. So they won't get the attack of opportunity. I wonder if that is worth... Cult's kind of squishy though. <laughs> Is the, the big issue is Cult is not the tankiest boy in the world. Mm. I mean, I could also just go in with Kornick and Weakening Blow. I think that's what I'll do. And he gets protection. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. And they get the swing for a massive four. I mean, they, they do get the bleed though, which kind of sucks, but that's not a huge deal. The okay, next person to go here is the tactician. I'm just going to lock him up. Oh, these two are still engaged. Oh, okay. That doesn't disengage. I thought it disengaged. Sivert does no damage because of his, uh, his fracture. Hey, you know, he does his job. He gets people in combat. He does what I built him to do. So, it's fine. Uh, I think Parmigal can just go kill this tactician. And then this is a kill? Yeah, okay. Coolio, McCoolio. Um, I can't get on this thing's back. Where do I want to put you? I'll just put you right here, I guess. Actually, no, let's not. Let's leave his side open in case I want someone to swing on him. All right, we get three turns before this phalanx soldier goes. Uh, Gerard kind of has to be the one to engage him because Gerard's the only person I have left. Don't really have a choice here. And then let's use Cult to do some AoE shenanigans. Maybe let's see if we can do anything from here. I want to move, I want to leave a little bit of movement in case I need to make a adjustment to where he's standing. So he's going to get attacked now. This actually hit all three. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, he's gonna get shot in the ass by that archer, but damn! You don't have... Okay, you have engaging blow. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do... I guess the only case is, do you have the push bow? No, you have the crit bow. If she crits me, that is gonna put Cult on the ground. Counter attack. Ow, forgot about that. Forgot about the old force disengage or attack of opportunity thing. Laura Will can't really go anywhere. I mean, I could use this, I guess. Might as well. Give us our two Valor. Gonna shoot Cult. Please don't crit. Ow. 29 non-crit. Okay, gotta run away too. Yep. Great, now I gotta chase. Now I gotta chase her ass down later. Gonna be annoying. I think this kills a lieutenant here, right? He's gonna get pushed. So he's gonna get overwatched. Oh, or we'll just outright crit him and he'll die. Even with his... Wait. How did called crit? He's got laceration. He says he cannot do crits. I don't understand. How is it possible that he just crit? All right, call. Get out of here, buddy. Uh, I mean, this one needs to die, so I guess I'm gonna put Sibbert on him. This corner can actually do good damage to these foot soldiers. Although maybe I needed that damage to get the kill, but I don't think so. I think Laura Will can kill it anyway. I think even actually Parmagol could probably kill this. Six to nine. Parmagol, why do you do no damage? Uh oh, yeah, that's okay. She's still using an iron axe and it's only one star. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Needs more strength. Oh, and his, his, yeah, his skill is just crit. Which I think is... It's probably pretty good. Probably worth it. In the long run. Hmm. I'm just gonna stab. I could wrath. But then I wouldn't have anyone else to stab with my normal attack, so. Oh, not worth it. Now, Cornet can hop on this boy and do actual damage. Or not. Ooh. A crit. Hello. Big six. Big two. And then he gets an attack again. Kornick is so tanky. Dang, man. We need to make sure we don't end our turn in this little lightning bolt and get killed. Okay, at least we got a crit. And then go to this side of him. Maybe the archer will shoot him in the back. Actually, I think I can kill him. I definitely can kill him with Gerard. Assuming Gerard can make it. Yeah, he can. Hmm. I should not have put Gerard. I should not have put Gerard there, huh? I mean, I can just deflection. And then run at this chick. Oh, she's running at me. 
Ow! No, stop! Come back! I hate her. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. Please stop kiting me. She's got way too much movement. Look at when she goes. She's just gonna kite me around all day. I'm gonna have to like waste my turn this round. Waste pretty much all of my turns. Uh, I have to stand here because I need her to come back so I can kill her next round. Oh my god, she's so annoying. Get your ass over here, lady. Alright, we caught her. She ain't gonna get... She's not getting away. And now what are you gonna do, huh? I'll tell you what you do. You're gonna die. Come here. One HP. Dagger throw. <laughs> Is she gone? Annoying. Oh, we got a 14 dex volley of arrows. Oh, someone became a duelist. I didn't see who it was, though. Laura will? Surely she was already a duelist. Oh, maybe it was like Sibbert or Cult or something. Or Kornick. Might have been Kornick. Anyway, that was annoying. I have 10 tools left. No. Yes. Yes. Wait, were you injured before? Yeah, you were. Okay. Mission complete. Now, I need all these policemen to go away. Because we're about to get the five finger discount. And I don't actually have a lot of money. Oh, enough time passed that I have to camp now. I guess I should camp first. I have to pay the boys. Hello, prisoner. Get back in there. Um, yeah, we got we gotta pay up. Piece of cheese. I don't have anything stolen currently. Actually, don't have. Oh, pony leveled up. There you go, pony. I can make my. <laughs> You can make your ponies lieutenants? What? <laughs> what the hell? What is that? I, they get run duration increased by 5%. Sick. And they get two points in constitution, which increases my weight carrying capacity by zero. Sick. Ponies carrying capacity is 93. Base value of 60. Do they both have the same base value? No, okay. So that base value does change with stats. I can't believe I can make Pony a lieutenant. Dude, that's... That's kind of... That's kind of pog, actually. Just make my little Pony a lieutenant. I don't think that would do anything, but... My companions are happy. Uh-oh. What's up, Kornick? Exploring this tomb was the best idea we've ever had. Our teamwork has improved, we've gained experience, and most importantly, it's made us rich. Noisy? Enemy aggression range increased in the world? No. Inspired. Actually, you know what? Let's go with noisy. He just gets that as a status. Is up here. Not a trait. Enemy aggression? Sure. Sweet. Now he's noisy though. For one rest. 
That's whatever. Cops, you all need to leave, okay? I have 83 gold. I'm kind of... Actually, you know what? I can sell some stuff. Hello, sir. If one of your companions That's a nice stack of skill mastery books you got there. To teach them new skills. We can help you with that. For a price. Mm-hmm. That's it. And then we do this and this and this. Thank you. Thank you very much, my good sir. And then we use all these before I leave. Suspicion and pickpocket. All right, so. We want to upgrade um, Dagger Throw. Yes. That is a very good one. Frenzy's pretty good to level, but we're going to wait on that. Ooh, six to nine and ignores guard. That's very nice. Ignoring guard is juicy. Gerard's. Uh, both of Gerard's are really good too. Laceration only needs one attack to activate. That's huge. So we're going to go with that. And then counterattack's nice as well. Every time he disengages with something, he gains double inspiration, which is double movement. Archers, kind of whatever. Uh, opportunism's nice. Four enemies is a lot, though. But brutality is very good. Weakening blows, interesting. If at the end of the turn, the unit is next to an enemy, they gain fury. If an attack from this unit destroys an enemy's armor, the unit gains brutality and inspiration. Ooh, that's kind of nice. How many books do I have left? Three. Let's go, let's go Cornix Opportunism. And then we'll do Parmigal's Rampage and Gerard's Counterattack. There, now a, po a cop can pull me over and I shouldn't have to pay that big of a fine. Because I don't have any stolen goods on me. You blew class skills three times. True. You did it five times. Hello, coppers. Oh, you don't care about me? Okay, it's kind of weird, but we'll take that. I gotta go back to town. Who's this lone refugee? Is this one of my prisoners that escaped? I can polish your armor for. Oh, it's Renart. Oh, how did you find me? Give me my gold. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I I can attack him. <laughs> I can kill Renart. All right, fuck it. He's a level one civilian. Okay, no, that, you know, that, mm, nah, that's taking it too far. I mean, he's an idiot, but. He's a level one civilian, like. That's, that's just murder right there. Just straight murder if I attack him. Okay, finally back to town. Let's go get our thousand gold we have waiting for us. Might you be looking for work? Here is your reward. Thank you. Huge. Hey, rat infestation. Uh, okay, I can pick up all four of these actually. We do need to look at leaving the area here though. We're just gonna hard negotiate because we have a ton of influence. Okay. And these are all in like the same direction as each other, which is really nice. I need to make sure I don't overdo this. Though, because I need influence to actually hire people if anyone's good here. 
Quick and unlucky. Ooh. Quick's nice. Unlucky is awful. Confident. Raised by boars. I don't need a ranger. Confident and a drunkard. Um... Do I want another swordsman? Oh, I could take a fighter. Fighters are, are good. They're level four still? I guess that makes sense. Most of my guys are actually level four still. <sighs> These guys kind of suck again. What's new in Tiltron? I want to steal your apple pancakes. And your brandy. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, bye. <laughs> uh, None of these are anything I want. This guy's awful. This unlucky trait's terrible. This swordsman's okay. Eh. I need a scholar. I, mean, I guess I could just let one of the prisoners do it. Uh. Yeah. Everyone else kind of already has a job. Speaking of jobs. Hey, I need to make some medicine badly. All right, so we got four alizarian powder. That's huge. That lets me make a bunch of oil, potentially. Um, that's gonna give us alchemy. I can finally heal my wounds. And then we need to make more medicine to replace the medicine I just used. Um, do I really want to do this? I won't have any vials if I do this. That's fine. I can I can steal some vials. Should I make both of these, I guess, for the knowledge? I also need to make a ether for the knowledge. And a sticky oil, but I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any honey, so I can't do that. Oh, your vials are on sale. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Alright, before I do anything with you, let me go to the blacksmith real quick. Did I talk to her? Ah, I am very happy to see you. Finally, we can show you the true Stromkap. A thriving, peaceful, honest community. Hmm. We have rid our streets of these wretched refugees. The Edoranians now know not to come here. That's not... Listen, lady, you're a little too happy about just, like, eating up a bunch of people who didn't, didn't really deserve it. All right. So I'm going to need coal to make all this ghost gear. Um, I actually have a decent amount of iron, which is good. Do I want to make a ghost bow? Alright, I need coal. Hey, bud. Oh! The materials are on sale. Oh, and the restoration. That's good. Now, if I steal one, I'm not going to be able to get the other. We're just going to steal this though. No, I can't steal that. I'll just buy the coal. Then we can read our little restoration book. There we go. And now our kits repair five more armor. And I'm actually going to have him repair my armor. Thank you. And now we'll go crafting. All right, so 
what do we need to make? I want to make a new dagger. I want to make... Do I want to add a... Make a do I want to make a ghost bow? I do feel like this war bow... These, so these war bows are a trap. I just want to tell you right now. They are a completely a trap. Oh, is herbalism... Alchemy straight dex? Wait, so what's dex crit? Oh, it's the thief, yeah. Maybe these should be reversed. I feel like the rogue's gonna get plenty of crit. Yeah, maybe I should have reversed these skills. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, all right, so what do we want to make? Let's make a new dagger. A new axe. Maybe a new sword. Axe, dagger, sword. So ghost gladius. Not fuck this up. Okay, we already fucked it up. We oh, fucked it up. It's one star. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. That one's two star. And then we want a bill hook. Yeah. It's a little faster now, the little, the little like, uh, effect. Definitely faster. Um, I could make a mace as well. I don't need a pike or anything yet. I could do bow as well, but I don't... I don't think I really need to. I think it's fine. I guess we'll just add a, what, a mace on top of this. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, we got a new knowledge. Nice. We made some more stuff. Did some more stealing. So, if I were to learn armor right now, could I even make any? I don't think so. The only other thing I have left is two-handed weapons. I don't really use two-handers right now. I'll learn armor, but I don't think I can make it. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually only short on coal, though. Ghost armors insanely good all right let's equip our new gear huh why do you have sharpening oil on your axe why did i do that that is bad all right plus five strength yep that's a winner and then gerard plus three strength because it's one one star you know we don't we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that Lorewell, another five decks. And then Sibbird. You also have a strength oil on your weapon for some reason, because I'm dumb. Oh, you can't equip. You're only level four. Just kidding. You know, this is a terrible idea. He does 17 to 29 right now. If I give him this, he's going to do 10 to 27. He's only got 20% crit. This is a terrible... I'm not going to give him that. It's it's a bait. It's a hard bait. I really want to do it because when this thing actually crits and gets double attack, it's so nice. But... No. No, that's a bait. I'm not doing that. It's too early in the game. What do I want to do with these? I think I want to sell my old weapons. You can use my anvil. Ooh, never mind. 40 gold. Yuck. 40 gold. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't want to... <laughs> Never mind. We're not selling iron iron weapons. They don't sell for shit. Just kidding. I guess... I'm going to have to have a random person do this. The whatever. Scholaring stuff. Oh, well. Yeah. So the only thing we're missing right now is coal, though. All right. So let's disassemble this stuff. This old, old gear. This. This, this, and this. Everything else we'll hold on to. Okay. Did I buy his raw materials? I forget. I did. Okay. Yeah, our raw materials were a little, were a little short. All right. Well, I guess we're done in town now. There's nothing for me to buy. Let's go check the market for stuff that's on sale. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Maybe I should buy some trade goods since I'm about to leave town. Do I need leather or anything? Fifteen leather. It's fine. We can get leather easily. Ropes we've plenty of. Grain, I have 22. I'm pretty close to weight limit though, so I probably don't want to do anything like that. You touch it, you buy it. Nothing on sale there. Nothing on sale there. I have 39 salt. I think we're just good. I think we're gonna go. Oh yeah, I have missions to go. Oh yeah, I gotta go up I gotta go up to the trackers camp too. I gotta hit this rat's nest. Oh, I didn't pick up the other quest. Okay, so we can just uh, burn inspiration or influence, sorry. Because I am not hiring anybody right now. Dude, $500. Hey, we got a lot of money in, in quests right now. All right, we're going to go left first. I want to go up to the tracker's camp. I am five star wanted again, though. Random bandits. Okay. Is there chopping at that lumber mill? Do I need wood? Uh, 23. It's like a hard, mediocre amount. One of these days, I'll deliver these prisoners. One of these days, for sure. More flowers. Oh. Some, like, metal and stuff respawned up here. Five. Wow. That's, a, that's kind of a lot. Uh, you? The one I talked to? Interesting. Very interesting. A hunt worthy of a tracker. To think you've accomplished this feat with such flimsy armor. Excuse me? To survive our hunts. You will need to upgrade your armor using layers. Oh yeah, baby. Besides protecting the wearer, the layers and patches worn by trackers mark their feats. Making these requires some skill, and the right to wear them must be earned. Reinforced layer of the stag and the blueprint. Here, take this armor layer pattern. The world will know of the fierce battle you waged against Sika. The mm -hmm. Brotherhood operates throughout the land, but be warned. Our quarries can be far from ordinary. All right. Thank you, sir. Anything else to say? No. Okay. So, Hunter Vega? trying to sell me your filth. I am in need of fangs to accomplish our ancient rituals. Oh, I can steal from her. Um It's kind of expensive, man. The meat drying rack. I do want that. I cannot afford much here. And I can't steal. Man. Her, her, her stuff's kind of... Her stuff's a little pricey, man. What the hell? Okay, well, we have a new thing to make here. The meat drying rack. 
And we have the reinforced lair of the stag. This is huge. Two strength, four armor. That is very nice. Uh, I don't think I'm actually wearing any armor that has sockets though. Oh, yours has it. But so that'll be like stuff I put in like in the new armor that I'm gonna create. And I could put this in Cornix armor for now. And then I could take it out later. Eh, it's probably not worth it. Logging. Six damage units in the area. It's cast again for every affected target that is bleeding. Hmm. Oh, look, the wood's back. Nice. Get us some uh, wood cutting experience. As well as, I guess, some more materials. Thank you. And then this guy doesn't ever talk to you, the druid. Grapes, cheese, and hemp. All right, well, I would steal her stuff, but I can't. Wait, what? Wasn't there iron up there before? It, it, it despawned. I'm not crazy, right? There was something. Oh, what's this? Wood. Is there something up here? Oh, I actually have a quest right here. Convenient. Collect 50 resources. Hello, gang. I hope you're not guards. No, they're bandits. Okay. Successfully ambushed the bandits. There are eight of them. That's a lot. That's okay. We just got new weapons. Time to put the new weapons to use. Well, some of them. Some of us got new weapons. They are surprised and they are all sorts of in the mud. They are all together though, which is actually not what we want. Because they're all together, this is going to be a very messy fight. Where are their archers? Bottom side. Mud's top side. I can fit all my units on one side, right? I have seven units. Yeah. So we pick one side and we stay to the one side. So the leader goes first. Armagall, can you kill the leader? Mmm, probably not. Got a little over a hundred health. I mean, if he got a lot of crits, you could kill him potentially. I think it's rather unrealistic that we think that we can kill that. I honestly think we play the mud. I think we go up top. Get them all stuck up in the mud and have our archer kind of... Kind of whittle him down a bit. Put Kornick up front. He's the tankiest. I think this is fine. Yeah, I can't even make it to us. Um, second, a wrongdoer. And then this hoodlum. Yeah, their archers don't even go anytime soon. And they're the vicious shot bows, which aren't... Aren't very scary. What can you do? Oh, you can make it. Hm. Doesn't have very much health, though. He's going to survive just fine. Although he might walk through this trap, too. He'll go hit Kornick, which is whatever. Oh, no, that's right. He couldn't make it. Mm, I could, like... Walk up and hit him, but I don't think that's a good idea. I could bait him into the trap, maybe? Maybe that's... I just bait him into the trap? Come hit me! Kind of a weird turn, but... You know, whatever. Now I'll engage this guy. 
If I am on this side, I'm pretty safe, actually. Kornick doesn't really get anything special for hitting this person. Kornick's good against people with high guard because of his mace. She doesn't have any guard, so... Mace isn't really getting any extra work in. Are you going to die to the trap? Ah, 3 HP? Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. 3 HP. Darn. Truly a shame. My headphones kept this power kept disconnecting. Kept getting booty doop. Oh, I could knock you out. And then I would have three prisoners. And then I really, really, really would need to go to the prison. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Fuck it. Thank you. And then we'll just do nothing. The rest of their units aren't really going to have valuable turns. The only people who are going to be able to do anything are the archers. And even then, they're going to struggle. This guy isn't going to be able to shoot anybody. He's probably going to be shooting his friend in the back. Who do I have go now? I'm just going to... Mm, I shouldn't skip Colt's turn. I'll have Gerard walk up and hit this guy and then walk away. Walk like back here. Stay behind Kornick. Make sure he doesn't get the surrounded debuff though. Like this should hit his friend. Really? You weaved that in here? That's crazy, man. Okay, well this one was going to hit your friend. How? Dude, how do they land both of those? That's, that's absolutely insane. Can you... Hmm. Mm, 26 to 32. Hey, Laurel does a lot of damage. We're just going to mostly skip here. This, this, this guy goes so late is not good. I wanted call to like run in and cleave, but I can't really do that. I guess I can run through. And then do this. And then he'll go first next to next round and swing and then run back through. This Marauder can't do anything. Oh, we have brutality. Who's first? Oh, this wrong door. Bye. Then we run up here. 23. And this charge doesn't kill. I could wrath and then charge. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We're popping off. This guy can't go anywhere. He can engage Kornick though. Which is what he will probably do. That's eh, too early. I'm just going to get him out of here. He's too weak. Oh. I could actually walk Kornick away. What about if I go there? <laughs> Dummy. See you later. Okay. Now this wrongdoer can't do anything because he's slow. Ah, Gerard can't reach. Um, These guys are all useless. Oh, that's right. I can get Laura. Laura will now has crazy movement. 
Because her movement resets now every time she dagger throws. Whoop. Good night. Now she has full movement again. This guy's slowed, right? Oh no, he did not get slowed. He is very last, though. Oh, that's right. I don't have my auto attack. I forgot. I used it. I should have frenzied that guy, actually, so I could have swung here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that was probably a misplay. Whatever. Just gonna have Laura well leave. Now she has full movement again, and we'll just run away. So close. To being able to get that guy in combat. We'll do that. See if anyone wants to walk in range of that. Really? You're going after Jer Okay. Shot his buddy in the back. And we got the the combo off of that. Thank you. I'm surprised he went after Gerard there. That's seems a little weird. Good night. What? What? That's fine. Good night. Hey, y'all. Oh yeah, we get inspiration from that. Wait, does that reset your movement? No. Something though. Why does he have so much movement now? Marauder, if I just walk up here, can't reach me. Mm, but I don't really want to use to last. I don't want to lacerate this guy because this, this fight's kind of winding down. I don't need to do anything crazy. I do need to be bandaged though. I think only Laura will. Laura will. Oh, and Kalt have first did. Timbird is going to slowly die to this poison. I love the mud. Love the mud. Couldn't reach. Okay. So wrong door first. Kornick will just engage it. Sibbard could. Sibbard has more armor. This guy do it. Oh, this guy has. No, this guy. Um. Yeah, this is fine. Whatever. He just got, he got protection for walking near them, so. Protection plus a weakened wrongdoer. He's really not going to take much damage at all. Eight. Huge. This person goes next, but it's not for a long time. All right, let's get some valor here. So this is my valor. Now with this, like, giving this to your rogue is actually insane. Because there, she ran in, got some valor, and now she just reset our, her movement. So all that, like, whatever movement I had to do to get her in position, to get that valor, I just immediately get back. As long as there's a... Oh, that's a crit. As long as there's a target in range for her to... To be able to reset off of. Hmm. This is only two left. Yeah, okay. Just do whatever. Ooh. Mama. And we go here and we auto attack you. You didn't die? What? 
I was hoping to kill both of them right there with Gerard, but was not in the stars. Now he has like infinite movement again. How does he have 31 movement? Holy shit. Inspiration's in absolutely insane. Sword bastards are so good. Oh, I didn't put oil on my new weapons. Oops, I forgot. Hey, two cloth. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll do a repair there. Oh, we repair 25 now. That's right. Yeah, we can just do a full repair. Uh, actually, and let's oil our weapons since I forgot. You get crit. I think both these guys are going to get strength. Do I have the double oil thing already? No, that's it. That must be at seven. Where you can double oil weapons. Yeah. So the question is, do I want to use a, I think using a strength oil and Gerard's fine. He doesn't need crit oil. Although his weapon's really shit. Eh, whatever. Strength though is not that hard to make. And then Parmigal, probably better off with a crit oil. So I think we'll wait on that. Hey, wait, why do I only have one slave? Oh no, I have two. Oh, this is the person I just captured. Oh yeah, that's right, I captured somebody. I forgot I forgot I did that. <laughs> Completely forgot I did that. Hello. Should I, win? Should I heal you? It'll make you like me more. Here you go. Deep into the trust. Right, you can go hang out in the tent too. Alright, which one of you wants to be a scholar? Any of you have any skill at scholar? Scholaring? Nobish. I had a scholar, right? Someone had to have figured out those puzzles. Must have been one of the people that escaped. Alright, you can be a scholar. Better. Here you go. Come here. Get to scholaring. Do this one. Codex management. So how does this work? Getting closer, but a rune is missing. Okay, so it is these two. Is it this one? No? It was just a guessing game. Scholar Apprentice. Okay. This is weird. Okay, one of these is correct. Okay. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Nope. This one, this one. Oh, which one have I not tried? Oh, this one. Okay, we got another one. Oh, two. Mm, I'm gonna guess it's this and this. Oof, nope. So it is this, probably. Which means it's this. And then that. Uh oh. One again. This was two. And this is one. So it might be... But this is also one. So it has to be these two. This one. This one. And then this was also one. So let's check the let's try the check mark. There we go. Okay. So we have a bunch of codex things. I don't I don't what does this mean? Deciphering. Sword damage could discover which runes they hold. Once restored, they remain unintelligible until you learn all the all the corresponding runes. Oh, we need to know all the runes. Okay, well we don't know all the runes, so. 
We know almost none of the runes. It's gonna take seven rests. Sheesh. All right, we can upgrade some of our things and we need to make the meat rack. Actually, we can't upgrade. We need to make the meat drying rack. Oops. That was a misclick. Where should I put this thing? Just hanging out over here. So now I'm going to dry some fish. Oh, I need to upgrade it first. Gain 10 profession levels. Cool. Then this one is use three oils. Hey, level five. So now we get cleaners. This is perfect actually, because we have a we have a mission to go do a rat's nest. We will be doing shortly here. And then we need to put some stuff in our little camp chest here that is stolen. Okay. Looks good. And now I have a new knowledge. Going to do weighted training. I do need more weight pretty badly. Cookings, whatever. Strength oil concentrate. Rhyme steel. Mountain performance. Well, we could do... Could do campfire, which gets us started at making coal, which we need. We're going to need that a lot now that we're making ghost gear. We could do hitching post, which will get us an extra 10 carrying capacity. Um, we could do meat drying, which gives me fish oil. Or I could do lectern also. Which gets us one less day on studying relic or antiques and 10% knowledge during each rest. Wait, I have three knowledge points. Oh, oh damn. Hmm. Okay. I didn't realize I have three. All right. Well, let's do a bunch of things then. Let's do, we'll do lectern. I'm going to do lectern. Ooh, do I have enough wood for all of this? Hitching post actually doesn't take much wood. Let's do hitching post. And then... You know, we're going to go... We're not going to do meat drying rack. We're going to do weight, weighted training. Okay. Now, let's upgrade some stuff. Looks like we should be able to do both. Hitching post. And then a lectern. Cool. Now this should only take six days. And we now hold 20, uh, 20 more weight. Cause I got 10 from weighted training and 10 from my hitching post. 297. Cool. Caps looking good. Let's eat some food here. Should I just eat a culture shock? I've had this culture shock for so long. All right, we'll eat, we'll eat the culture shock. Yeah, that's fine. Do the old rest roo here. Oh, stolen item has been laundered. Knowledge of the world has increased. Companions and food, happiness, 15 influence, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, my brandy got laundered. Nice. Now it's just the pancake. So now, um, we're going to do this. We're going to set this up. We're going to go here and we're going to do overflowing motivation. And now we should have crazy, uh, fatigue here for this next bout into the world. Fence 10 item stacks. So close to Crime and Chaos 4. I don't remember what that gives. Uh, we're going to take Vigilant though. I 
I want these two as well. Nimble Fingers and Innocence. All right. Well, I think that will be it here for uh, for this episode. This part, this whatever. Um, yeah, we'll see how much the fatigue meter is uh, not moving now that I did a culture shock and the motivation thing. We should be able to like actually get pretty far on the world map without losing too much. We can probably do this and then go run back down to the prison and hand over these prisoners I have. And then do my other two missions, hopefully without having any problems with, um, fatigue but uh you know we'll we'll see next time uh, that is it uh thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you all later see ya